And welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee from WBLS. The beat goes on and on and on until the break of dawn, because now it's time for our Music Mondays. And this week, our Music Monday spotlight shines on a violinist who has shared the stage with the, the likes of John Legend, Carlos Santana, Gloria Estefan, Trey Songs, and many others. And we are thrilled to have her here today to perform. Please give a, a big hand, a big warm welcome for Queen Rose. Give a big hand, everybody. Take it away. Share it with us, 
wipe their tears away each and every day. When my heart is lonely and you feel so weak, I will be with you. Let me hold your hands, I'll stay with you throughout eternity. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Queen Rose in the house. That was fantastic. Thank you. I know you can sing and play at the same time. A lot of people just do one or the other, right? Yes. Yes. Now, you've, how does it feel to play with so many wonderful artists like Trey Songs, Carlos Santana, Gloria Estefan? Um, well, I guess the, the biggest thing for me um, was um, doing MTV Unplugged with Trey yes. Songs. Mm -hmm. Um, because, because um, basically, he really, um, he's stepping on my cable. <laughs> okay. He really um, gave me the spotlight, uh, which I really appreciated. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, he featured me on a couple of songs, and um, you know, you go in like they call uh -huh. me ten days before you learn the music. You don't know what to expect, and um, what happened was, you know, I learned the songs. I made up my own parts, uh -huh. and. Um, he really liked it, so he l he gave me the beginning of two songs, and um, yeah, this is uh, yeah. my friend Honey La Rochelle, uh -huh. and this is um, Blitz the Ambassador. He's touring the whole world. He's really amazing. Uh -huh. So, um, well, I, it's always an honor to get to play with other artists. Mm. Um, what about they inspire me? What about Carlos Santana? Well, I got to um, back him up um, with the Philharmonic Orchestra of the Americas at the Latin Grammys mm -hmm. in Houston. Yeah. And I meet, met him, and um, he's very cool. He's yeah, a very cool yeah. guy. You yeah. met a lot of wonderful people. Any one thing stand out in your mind from any of the artists that you've met throughout your travels? Well, um, I met um, Roberta Flack. I didn't get to play with her yet, uh -huh. but she came to the show of my friend Hannah La Rochelle to the uh -huh. Blue Note, and she she listened to both shows, and I got to meet her afterwards, and that was that was very special. We had a common friend, and um, so I got to speak to her, and um, and a lot of them say I gotta get you. <laughs> yeah, she said that, and you know I also met Stevie Wonder, yeah. and he he asked me if I was signed. I said no. I said I'm gonna give yeah. you a record deal. That hasn't happened yet, but you never know. Hey, Stevie Wonder can see. You I mean, he can he can <laughs> see with his ears. It was he, really he can, weird. It's um, a great a great ear. For I met time. him for the first time, and the first that was the first question he asked me. Yeah. So all these little things people tell me. Uh -huh. um, also, Roberta Fleck said she wanted to work with me. I have a phone number, her email. We've been yeah. in touch, but um, so far, those things haven't come through. But I believe it's just like kind of God but showing you me you yeah. have to keep doing what you're doing. That's so right. anyone out there who is who is striving. Um, just do what you love to do and mm. believe in it and don't worry about what happens or what doesn't happen. So Your passion will carry you there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Tell us about this wonderful organization. Are you a part of it, the Building Bridges organization? Yeah, this is an organization I started myself. Um, mm. This is really where my heart is and what I want to do with my music. Um, my organization, Building Bridges, its mission is to create intercultural communication to foster peace. I want uh -huh. to empower the youth um, and um, basically I realized that I just don't want music just to do music. I actually yeah. do want to use it for a greater purpose, yeah. and um, that's what my organization is about. So my new album, um, I feature a lot of different artists, mm -hmm. and um, this is kind of a representation of building yeah. bridges. And, and, and finally, where do you draw your inspiration from? you got to get it from somewhere. Well, I want to say this, this performance is dedicated from, to my brother-in-law. He died on Thursday. Oh, um, yeah. And my, this is for my sister Maria and my niece, little six-year-old niece, um, Lena, and my four-year-old mm -hmm. nephew, Sebastian. And it's life. So that's yeah. where I bring it back yeah. to. I draw okay. it from life. <laughs> God bless them. Okay, Queen Rose, you're going to take us home with some? Sure. Okay. There you go. 
All right, that's all the time we have for today's show. Many thanks to all of our guests for stopping by, and of course, you, our viewer, for tuning in and checking it all out. Stay tuned right here for Darren Jaime on Mondays. Always remember this, what you are is God's gift to you, and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice and let your choice control the chooser. Queen Rose taking us out right here on Opens Channel 67. Come for my champion